What's up, YouTube? We are here for some arms day exercise, trying to gain the XP to level up a little bit. Um, your boy done goo, so as you can see, we are doing a delicious voiceover um, for some a ASMR vibes here. So we're starting off with some... I found this on TikTok. I actually don't know what it's called. I know, like... I know this is a Smith machine, but what I'm doing here, I don't really know what the exercise is called, but it's like a pull-up variation that you're not really like vertical you're kind of like horizontal and this really really helps you um focus in on that bicep there and honestly my my arms are already filling it from this warm-up and then this particular exercise here is like a tricep push thing i would call it again i don't know what it's called but this also really helps with the with the warm-up honestly i feel like this can actually be an actual workout like an actual exercise to start out with um, but i'm using it as a warm-up because i really want to do isolation workouts today um, so i can really feel the the extension the muscle activation and all that good stuff but yeah these two like workouts here are very very good for warm-ups At this point, my forearm is like burning. I don't know why. Every time I'm doing like arms day, my forearm is just um, gets activated <laughs> un unknowingly, even though I'm trying to target my triceps and biceps. So again, great warm up. All right. So first official, I guess, exercise for arms day is this. Um, I guess triceps cable extension thing. I saw this off TikTok. I don't really know what it's called, but you can kind of see here. It's basically a isolated workout so that you can focus in on your triceps. I didn't know what angles I should be hitting at, so I'm trying different variations here, both like cross body and then the other ones like their anterior, just straight up and down. Um, they both work. <laughs> so try this out. It, it definitely works. It helps you with the activation and really just focusing on your your tricep making sure that it works you know leading with the elbow and and what have you it just it's great weird part is i don't know what to do with my opposite hand when i do these like isolation workouts i default to holding my like show uh <laughs> my chest or ribs uh but it's weird because you're not really working out that area so it's weird to hold it so <laughs> i'm just putting my hand in my pockets I just got these headphones too. These are the Sony XM5s. These are, I guess, relatively new. Um, the XM4 is definitely renowned, but I wanted something new. So I got the XM5 for um, a great deal. Amazon had this like Prime Day deal where I think these headphones were like 50 bucks off. They normally retail for like f uh, 400. So I got them for 350. Um, the XM4s at the time were like 200. Um, I know I'm sorry like 300 or 250 something like that um, and that was a great deal too but I wanted something new these are great for noise canceling they help me a lot with like just zoning in and getting in the zone and canceling out the world it just really it really works I, I love these headphones the sound quality is great too yeah again like I'm trying different variations here I decided to do um, two particular variations where I'm doing a cross body and then one straight up and down on the anterior plane. Um, really just trying to get that tricep to, to activate over and over. I realized with arms day, you just really got to put those numbers in. They, they recover a lot quicker than like your legs or like your, your glutes or what, or, or even your chest. It just recovers a lot quicker. So, um, you need to put in those numbers so that you can grow your arms, uh, quicker, I guess, and, and more full. What's crazy about like watching yourself um, work out throughout like your workout day is that you, you can see yourself like very, <laughs> very flaccid, very flat, nothing's happening. And then throughout your workout, you can see the pump kicking in and man, just seeing this progress just is crazy to see. The lighting is, is amazing too. I don't know why it looks so yellow though. I tried to color correct this, but it just didn't work out. Maybe I'm just really yellow.
What am I looking at, bro? I look like a demon. Look at me. What am I looking at? Oh, you know what? This is where I was looking at um, my next, uh, I guess, exercise and where it's going to be to see if it's taken. Yeah, so this is uh, another TikTok video that I saw where it's like a incline bar, not barbell, dumbbell, like curl. I tried to do two different variations here where uh, it's more like 45 degrees and then the other one's like closer to like 90 degrees. They both work. Uh, but again, in my mind, I want to put in a lot of numbers, a lot of reps, a lot of sets uh, so I can grow my arms. You can see here, like my biceps are probably so undefined. <laughs> um, I can't really push a lot of weights too, especially in this particular, I guess, position. Uh, it really puts your biceps and shoulders at a disadvantage. So if you go heavy, it's, it's going to be hard, um, both on your shoulders and just hard in general. Um, so I went down in weights. I tried 35, it just didn't work out. 25 didn't work out. I settled on 17.5 because I feel like this is where I'm struggling a little bit, but at the very best, you know, did my best with like um, the, the form and the contraction. This is like the go-to uh, medium that I found. So it worked out for me. I know it's a low weight, but you gotta start somewhere. These were killer, man. I think like, I think I did five sets of these. I know it doesn't show um, in this video because I am recording with a, uh, a GoPro, so it had recording limitations, but um, I try to get in again as much as I can for these arm workouts because again, they recover so quick. What's great about like watching these videos is that you can correct your form. So mentally you can keep that in mind and correct it for next time. If you guys don't record your workouts, um, definitely do. It helps you a lot. All right, next workout is this hammer, hammer curls. Uh, I went with 30 because that 17.5 definitely hurt my ego a little bit. So I'm going with 30. I am swinging, uh, but I love to swing with these hammer curls. It really helps me like uh, get that pump in for my for my uh, my biceps, uh, and it really works. Like that outer area where your biceps are, uh, it really really works. Like uh, in the past, I never really did hammer curls, and I never really saw a definition in any angle for my biceps. But ever since I started doing these hammer curls, they 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 work. They definitely work. I love it. And I know in the clip, I'm, I'm, I edit it in a way where it looks like I'm going back to back to back. I at least take 30 second breaks from um, from each set. So definitely take your breaks as as you, as needed. Uh, don't take them too long, but definitely take your breaks and drink some water and stay hydrated. All right, <laughs> another <laughs> tricep variation here. Uh, the thing with, <laughs> like I said, with um, with arm workouts is that you're really doing just a pull down of some sort for your uh, your biceps and then some push variation for your triceps so <clears throat> it gets it gets boring very quickly honestly and it's hard to stay motivated and connected um, so what I like to do is just really create new uh, interesting um, options for me to work out and stay in tuned uh, with my workout so yeah, my gym didn't have like these, you know what I'm talking about where uh, like it's like these two ropes uh, with balls at the end. <laughs> um, it, that really helps with the tricep extension because you can kind of curl out and get that extra, extra extension there. But I didn't have that on hand, so I was using this bar here. Um, so for me, when I have to use this bar, I realized that when you flare your elbows out a little bit more as opposed to sticking it close to your body, you're really able to get that full extension without it hitting your like your legs or what have you. So it allows you to really sit on top of that and then it allows you to push more weight if you want to. So yeah, I'm really getting that pump in. Look at that. Look at that arm, bro. Yes, sir. Definitely get some XP um, forearms th today. Those are some ashy elbows though. What's up with you? <laughs> 
And the, the lighting is like killing it too. Look at those shoulders, boy. Sheesh. What I like about the tricep, like this particular tricep pull down is it really works on that, like I guess that outer tricep. Uh, I'm gonna look into how to tackle the inner ones cause you know, triceps, there's three parts to it. I feel like I'm, I'm always hitting that outer. I wanna see how I can hit that inner and middle. Uh, but yeah, this is again, a great tricep workout. No, yeah, it's really cool to see myself progress um, throughout my um, my recordings because um, I don't do them back to back, and I, I do like every two weeks. Um, so it, it's uh, oftentimes you forget how much progress you made until you review your clips and you do some comparison, and, and you realize, damn, you're 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 actually making progress. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool to see that. If you guys have any tips uh, or tricks with um, Arms Day to how to make, you know, make it more interesting and add more variations to like the triceps and, and bicep workouts or even forearm workouts, um, let me know, you know, comment down below and I'll try it out. Okay, so this, this particular workout is kind of sus now that I'm reviewing the clips. I didn't realize how not safe for work this really is, but this is all I had. Um, I didn't have the D-rings to hold but this is essentially another variation of like a hammer curl uh trying to really get that uh definition in <laughs> i know it looks weird especially with my angle the way i lean back and what have you uh but this really works this because it's like you're leaning back it's a cable um exercise there's tension throughout your whole you know range of motion so that tempo you got to really keep it up um so you can feel that burn and it really works you can see kind of see here i'm, I'm just about done but yeah, uh, Arms Day, like I said, it's it's pretty boring, but um, I try my best to get creative with it and make it interesting. Uh, yeah, and then flex on them, of course. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, next video, I, I'll do my best not to uh, forget my, uh, my mic. So there you go. Yeah!